Hi, everybody. Leah Slaughter. Hope you are doing great. I am so happy to report that it is finally cooling off here. Of course, everything else is a little bit heated if any of you guys watch that debate, but luckily we don't have to talk about that today. We are going to be talking about our property management services. And, you know, I throw a lot about what we do and why we do it in the different classes that we go through each month. However, I wanted to take the time today to go through in depth what we offer and how we from start to finish manage an investment portfolio. I think it's very important to understand what we do and why we do it, especially because some of the things that we do are a little bit different. And a lot of our clients have properties all over the United States and not every market allows the same thing. And so we get a lot of questions about what we do and what our timelines are and how we market. And so today my goal is to arm you with the information to have a great understanding of what our great state allows, not only from a law perspective of what we can do in property management here, but also how we utilize those allowances to better protect you and your investment property which of course then in turn allows us to continue working towards the goal of building that portfolio with our two to six year model. So before I get started, as always, everything we're gonna talk about is my best recommendation based on years of experience, investment property ownership and real estate office, just administration. And you know, one of the things I always say is there are tons of experts in your life that you can consult for guidance as you take your real estate journey. I'm one tool in that toolbox. There are many other tools, CPAs and attorneys and investment counselors and whoever it is in your life that you trust. And so I don't have a crystal ball. I certainly like to feel like I have a very good handle and idea of what our market is doing, what the general national market is doing and how to build a portfolio. I certainly have done that for myself and hundreds of clients. However, we always recommend that you do your own due diligence and do your own research and above all, make sure you are staying up to date with what is happening in our world from an investment and real estate ownership perspective. And then certainly as always, we are going to do our part to make sure we bring you that information so that we can help you stay up to date on what is happening in the real estate world. We have some fantastic classes coming up. We've got a class talking about our two to six year flip process. And this is a question we get a lot. And I've done a few different ways of looking at this process, looking at it from a 1031 perspective, looking at it from the value perspective of why you should not cash out and it's better to sell. I've looked at it from the ability to increase cash flow perspective, but they're all in different classes. And so what we're gonna do with this upcoming class is to go over all of the reasons and how we make it happen. So that's gonna be a great one. We're also gonna have a class going over how to reduce vacancy rates. And this will be a class that you can help translate into other markets where you own, where the property manager, or maybe you self-manage, maybe doing things a little bit differently. So we're gonna look at this from why we do what we do, how we do it, and how you can take that and try to utilize it into the rest of your portfolio that may not be here in Texas. We're gonna have another class going over the BRRR model. Um, for those of you that don't really know what that is, it basically is how you buy a property, you fix it up, and you cash out or refinance on the back end. And we're gonna talk about how our model is different, how it saves you money, but it gets you to the same end goal. And then finally, right after the election, we are going to have a post-election tax update class so for those of you that just watched our class going over the proposed tax changes and 1031 exemptions that are going to disappear potentially, we're going to talk about after the election what's going to happen next. Of course, the content for that class is yet to be determined because we've still got a few weeks before we know and hopefully we're going to know in a few weeks but we look forward to discussing whatever changes are going to happen and how they could potentially affect the real estate market, how they could potentially affect the 1031 process, and of course, how we are going to work with those changes, overcome them, and continue with growing our and your portfolios. Now, I am so excited to have Cindy on with me today. Cindy is 
we are so blessed to have her on the team. She's been with me for many years. She actually started out working with us as an agent and then was working in billing and then was our office manager and now runs our business development, which basically is everything to do with new management accounts. Cindy is a powerhouse and the first time I met her, I knew it and I love that she's a sponge. And so every time she talks to clients and every time I hear her, it's like a little mini me, but in all the good ways. So Cindy, thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm really excited to hear you talk about not just yourself, but also how our model works. Thanks for having me, Leah. So like you stated, I've been here for almost four years now. Um, and a little bit of my past is uh, I come from the corporate world, T-Mobile USA. I was the director of sales there. Um, and my biggest focus is always customer service and just making sure that everyone is being taken care of and answers are being question or answered. Um, and so I'm married, have three beautiful tr children. Um, and when I'm not focused on real estate, most of my time is spent with family and uh, sports. That's wonderful. And you do have beautiful children. <laughs> Thank you. So before we talk about what we offer from a property management perspective, I think it's important to understand who we are and where we came from. And so as most of you know, Michael and myself started the company in 2006 and we were right out of high school. And if you haven't yet watched our How We Built a Property Management Company as Teenager webinar, it's definitely one I recommend because our story is very unique and it certainly has made us who we are today and got us to where we are today. We are investors at heart and at our core and we believe in old school business model and that is the handhold family owned and operated feel. And so we have grown up in this business and really done nothing but this business and it has allowed us to live this business and everything that we do. And certainly we love what we do and we love that our team loves what we do. And so when working with us, it's always important to remember we are family owned. You are part of the Omni Key family. And for those of you who attend our quarterly mixers and all of our classes and have my personal cell phone, I, I certainly hope that we give you that impression each and every day as you work with us. One of the other things that we are really proud of is our reputation and our place in the property management industry. And so consistently, Michael and I are on the news and on radio and interviews and panels on not only how to build a property management company, but also how to run a property management operation. And so, of course, we've been recognized statewide as one of the best property management companies. We're A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. But it's also about helping to improve our industry and giving back in that way. Most of you know we give back in our charitable contributions, but there's also giving back within our industry. Property management is notoriously a very stressful and a very time-consuming industry. I can say with all honesty that in the last almost 15 years, there has not been a single day that I have not worked at least some. And there's a commitment that goes into property management and either you love it or you hate it. And I am so infinitely blessed that I have been able to spend the last almost 15 years doing something I love and built a team around us that also loves what we do. But we also want to help other property management companies and other owner operators learn how to run their business successfully, how to streamline it, and how to take some of the edge off of what property management is. And, you know, when you spend your days having to chase rent payments and chase repairs and do all of those things, it's very important that you can separate when you come home. And so a lot of what we do with property management firms and the education that we do for owner operators is how to be able to build your streamlined process to where when you go home, you're done. And so we certainly, we love our involvement in the property management and real estate community. And of course, Michael and I serve on numerous other boards outside of just property management. And I was actually just named the vice chair for the property management and leasing committee as well. So we, we love having the time and the ability to go back and to stay at the forefront of industry changes. And then of course, be able to come back and bring all of that to you as well. So Cindy, take it away. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, so as of right now, we cover about a little over 70% of Texas, and here on the screen, you'll see the areas that we're in. 
And so here's a quick little snapshot of everything that we have to offer. And we'll go into detail in a, in a couple other slides. Um, so as a brief overview of how our property management works, our management fee is 6.5% for single family rental properties. And then for multifamily properties, it's anywhere from 4 to 5%. And that depends on the rent roll, on-site amenities, on-site staffing, et cetera. Commercial properties are quoted on a case-by-case -case basis. The leasing fee is the percentage of the first month's rent that you pay for us to find and place a new tenant. And so that fee is only going to apply if you're sitting on a vacancy or if you or we give notice to your tenant to vacate the property. Now, if we renew your existing tenant, when we take over an account, we are going to put them on one of our leases. And I'll go over some of the reasons why that's so important a little bit later. But it's a landlord-friendly lease, and it's going to allow us to do all of the things that we do as part of our property management. Anytime that we place a tenant, we offer a four-month guarantee. And what that means is that we are going to replace that tenant at no cost for you if the tenant leaves or defaults within the first four months of their initial lease. Now, as mentioned, we do include quarterly walkthroughs, and I'm going to show you some examples of the types of things that we find and what we're looking for. We do not charge any oversight fee or upcharge on third-party repairs, but of course we do have our full in-house repairs and maintenance team. We do owner draws during the month, and those happen at the beginning of the month once tenant funds clear and then ongoing throughout the month. You'll have an online account. I'm going to show you what that looks like here in just a little bit. Of course, we're available 24-7 for emergencies and other items that come up after hours. We do continue to educate you and offer those weekly classes like I talked about. There's never any startup fees to start with us. We handle collection, collections and evictions, and I'll go over that a little bit as well. We handle all of the lease drafting and the applications processing. And on that note, let's talk a little bit about how our marketing works. So when we market the property, one of the most important things is to make sure that we have a 60-day re-renting period at the end of every lease. And a lot of properties that come to us to manage, they either don't have a re-renting period at all, or they only have 30 days. So let me start with telling you what a re-renting period is. At the end of a lease, when a tenant gives notice, or we give a tenant notice, or of course you as the landlord give a tenant notice, there's a period of time where we need to be able to show the property, put a lockbox on the door, so that we can seek top dollars, seek the best quality tenant with plenty of time to pre-lease it before your tenant ever moves out. And so as mentioned, if we renew a tenant on an existing lease that you bring us, we're gonna get them onto our lease that includes that provision. But for any new tenants that we place, of course, we're gonna put them on our lease with all of those different provisions that again, allow us to do the things that we do for our property management. We do offer cooperating commission and utilize full MLS advertising for our properties. And so what that means is when we have a rental property going up for rent, we're gonna treat it just like you're selling your personal home. We're gonna use the MLS. We're gonna to offer to pay other agents to bring their tenants. And then of course, in addition to that, we have dozens of our own leasing team and a huge pipeline of renters because of our volume. And so often we can also lease those in house. We also do work with short-term housing and disaster housing on occasion. And so in those cases, there may be a shorter term lease offer with a premium in rent. And anytime we have a situation like that, we're gonna bring that to you and ultimately the choice is yours. We will of course let you know what price we're gonna be listing the property at, any incentives that we're gonna be offering, and ultimately the choice is yours. Our goal is to always be there to handhold you and give you the information so that you are armed with being able to make a decision with the knowledge to make it. But of course, lots of owners just want us to handle it and make those decisions for you. And so we can do that as well. Our goal is to allow you to be as hands-on as you want or as hands-off as you want, completely dependent on what you are most comfortable with. We belong to so many MLSs, I couldn't even put them all here. But the important thing that you need to know is that if you belong to the MLS, you can list on that MLS. And so Realtor.com, for example, is what's called an IDX site or an internet data exchange. And that site, along with pretty much every other site that you see, downloads from the MLS. And so if you are not a realtor and a member of that MLS, you cannot list on that MLS. So we are a member of all the major MLSs within the markets that we work that allow lease listings to be posted. And this is just a snapshot of some of those. 
Now, when we and look to add to that. an application and we have an applicant on a property, we're going to go back over 20 years and we're not just going to be looking at criminal and credit because that's where a lot of people go wrong. We're going to be looking at bankruptcy filings to see if they're a habitual bankruptcy filer. And that may not seem like a big deal, but the problem is if someone files bankruptcy while they're living in your house, we have to do something called a lift stay to remove the bankruptcy from your property so we can evict them. We're going to look for lien histories. We're going to look at landlord history, including any history on a pet that they have. We're going to check their rental or mortgage history if they've ever owned a property. And then, of course, we're going to check their criminal, their employment, their credit. And then quite possibly the most important thing is that we're going to look at their eviction history. And we're not just going to look at if they've been evicted. We're actually going to look and see if evictions have even been filed. Because sometimes they may pay late. The tenant has an eviction filed and then the case is dismissed because they pay. And oftentimes a lot of people won't find those. So it's very important that we can also see not only if they were formally evicted, but if just eviction was filed against them. And all these applicants will be presented to our owners. We have owners that want to see exactly who's going to live in the property. And so we will present it to the owner. And we have a few owners that say, just use your best judgment. I trust you. And that's okay too. So our owners can always come back to us and ask us our thoughts or our input. And we're more than happy to give it. Absolutely. And, you know, if we have a tenant that's a little bit more risky or maybe they don't have flawless credit, then what we can do is we can do an extra deposit. So standard protocol for us is at least one month's rent as deposit, because typically you can get someone out within that month that they owe. Now, there are times where we will approve a tenant with two or three times rent as deposit. So say that you have a $1,200 a month property, we may have a $3,600 deposit on that tenant. And we also have deposit insurance and other options that we can work with when needed to bond up that deposit, even if the tenant maybe doesn't have as much cash. And so we're doing everything we can to get the best quality tenants in there. And of course, if you have a great quality property in a great area, you're going to incentivize and market to the best quality tenants. But if we have a Class C apartment in the heart of South Dallas or South Houston, then we may be looking at a little bit different tenant class. And so there are ways that we can incentivize and protect you even when we're dealing in those types of properties. And so we really represent every type of property you can imagine from your best class A's all the way down to class D's or even potentially a class F property where someone just is in a bad area or they can't afford to properly redo the property or maybe they inherited the property and they can't sell it yet. Any situation you could think of, we handle. Now, with our lease, as I mentioned, it's very landlord friendly. And so things like monthly air filter changes to protect your HVAC system, carrying renter's insurance, checking smoke detector batteries, those are all gonna be tenant responsibilities. And then we're gonna make them responsible for everything on maintenance that we possibly can. And so for single family homes, for example, they have to water the foundation. They're responsible for bush and tree trimming, weed treatments on the yard, pest control. The goal is to make them responsible for every possible thing we can. And then for all of your utilities that are individually metered, we are gonna have the tenant put that in their name and pay their own utility bill. A lot of landlords make the mistake of trying to incentivize by doing all bills paid leases. And we're not a big proponent of those. We're not a fan of those. The only time we have to do that is if there's only one central meter. And then in that case, we can initiate something called a rubs. And for those of you on my class a few weeks ago, you heard me talk about this and essentially it's utility bill back. And so lots of different options for multifamily properties or those without individual metering. And we'll certainly discuss those with you on a case by case basis if your property has that. Now we do have a huge in-house repair team, as I mentioned, we've got six people in office who have something to do with scheduling or oversight of repairs. And then we've got over a dozen people in the field as well. And that team is available 24 seven. And so if there's an emergency that happens, whether it's during the day or after, they're going to be taking care of that. We will work with your home warranty and we will facilitate repairs through them again at no extra cost. And then the in-house repairs team can do most small repairs, make readies, rehabs, et cetera. And the goal is to be cheaper than what you could go to a contractor or GC to get it done for and be able to get it done quickly as opposed to right now, there's a huge labor shortage going on. Now, in addition to all of that, there are things that require a licensed or a third party vendor to do work. And in those cases, we also work with them. We get those bids and we do not upcharge those items. And so there's not ever going to be a service fee or a handling fee for us to work with a third party or if you have your own handyman you want to use or whatever the situation may be. A lot of property management companies charge a percentage upcharge. 
and we just don't believe that that's right. And so that's never something that we've done. And I can sit here and tell you it will certainly never be something that we do. Now, when we look at a walkthrough, on the left, you're going to see a sample report of a walkthrough that was completed. And you'll notice that there's photos of each room, and then there's going to be notes about what's found in each room. And we're going to be looking for making sure the tenant has been changing their air filters, making sure their smoke detectors are functioning, making sure there's not unapproved or aggressive breed pets on the property, insurance items like trampolines or above ground pools, Make sure that we can't find any evidence of unauthorized occupants. Make sure they're maintaining the lawn. Make sure the property's clean and sanitary. Make sure they haven't rekeyed the property. These walkthroughs are very thorough. They take between 30 minutes and an hour each, and you will receive a report like this every single time. And you know the thing I love about walkthroughs is it's not just about checking on your tenant. It's not just about making sure they're not doing harm to the property. It's also to make sure that there's not something they're overlooking because they don't know what they're looking for. I can't tell you how many times we walk into a property and we find a leak under the sink or a leak in the ceiling that the tenant had no idea was there. As a matter of fact, today at one of my apartments that I'm in the middle of renovating, we found that the subflooring underneath the toilet had rotted and had caused that floor to give way and was almost squishy. And the tenant had no idea, tenant hadn't reported it, tenant wasn't aware because they don't really make a habit of stepping right there. But it's things like that that we're trying to get ahead of so as to avoid crisis with the property. And of course, also be able to fix things before they become a major concern. One of the questions I get a lot in Texas is about foundation and foundation movement. And you know, the thing about a foundation problem is if you put a tenant in a 1980s property and you don't check in until they move out two or three years later or until they report something, that foundation potentially has two to three years to move, not knowing if the tenant is watering, not knowing if there's an issue. And by the time it's so severe because the more unstable it gets, the more it moves, the more expensive it becomes. And then you have things like water lines breaking and gas lines breaking. And so by staying on top of that and keeping an eye on it, we can see signs. And because we have these photo reports during the year, we can go back and look at it to see how it compares. And because we have the same people doing these walkthroughs every single time, it's very easy for them to see changes month over month. And so walkthroughs are extremely important, and let me show you why. These are examples of things that we have found at walkthroughs, and this is just barely even touching the tip of the iceberg. So you would be amazed how a tenant that pays on time and seems like the perfect tenant can have issues that you have no idea about if you're not checking on the property. And I can tell you almost every single one of these is a takeover walkthrough, which means that we were hired to take over this property, we walk in the property, and lo and behold, this is what we found. If you look at the third, the third picture at the top in the middle, you'll notice that that is an entire wall of mold. The owner had absolutely no idea this is what we found when we were hired to take over this property. So lots of things that tenants just overlook, or maybe they're used to living like that, or they don't want to cause a stink because they don't want to be kicked out. You just never know what the situation may be. And don't think that because you've been using a property manager in the past that these things can't happen. I encourage you, if you have properties in other markets, make sure your property manager is checking on your property because it does not take that long for significant damage to happen, intentional or otherwise. Now, and when is, we do want to respect your tenants as well. So they do, they will be notified. They will receive an email letting them know when we're going to be at the property because again, you know, it's, their, it's where they're living and we want to respect them and just kind of give them a heads up. Exactly. And, you know, the one thing I will say is if we find something or something is reported to us that needs an immediate follow up, like an aggressive breed dog or something like that, we will do a surprise follow up visit without notice. But as long as your tenant is complying with the lease and we don't have any violation concerns, we will give them notice and we not only email them, we also text them with that notice as long as they have a cell phone number allowing text messages. Now, this is the online account interface. And this is the reporting section. And so I wanted to give you a feel for how that looks and how easy it is to download your rental owner statement and other reports and also export it for your CPA or for QuickBooks or whatever it is you need that for. So on your owner portal, you can get in 24 seven, it's up to date. You'll have copies of your lease and other documents, bill information and copies, your tenant's ledgers, payment histories, deposits held, balances. There's a communication portal. You'll see that request tab at the right. It's the far right one. And that's how you can communicate with us through the portal and have record of all that communication as well. And then tons more. The best thing about this process is that you're up to date all the time. You can always pull any report you need. 
and you don't have to wait for us to send you a statement. And so really it puts all the control at your fingertips and all the knowledge. And you know, there may be a lot of things in here you don't wanna check and you don't wanna know and you don't need to know and that's totally fine. But our goal is to always make sure that we are transparent and that you have all the information you need all the time so that you can know everything going on with your property if you want to. I tell all my owners, this is a great way to get in touch with the office. Um, one thing that's different about us is that we don't assign one property manager to your account. We have different departments that specialize in their department. So if it's a question about evictions or a repair question, all you have to do is submit a, a request through the portal asking for, you know, type in your question and the per correct person will call you directly. And so what- Absolutely. And then as it comes to payments, collections, and evictions, we do work a little bit differently. So let me talk about how everything happens with our office. The tenants have a ton of ways that they can pay their rent. They can pay online via their portal because they have access to a portal as well. And they can make a one-time payment or an automatic payment. In addition, they can pay in office. They can also pay by mail. Or we have a setup where they can pay at over 10,000 stores nationwide by bringing in cash and a QR code to pay their rent. And so really that excuse of, oh, I was out of town or I was across country because I had a death in the family really disappears with this system. So at any given time, the tenant has the ability to make a payment wherever they are in the United States. Now, once that tenant payment clears, we're going to EFT that payment to you. And then we will do subsequent EFT payments throughout the month. So if your tenant's in a payment plan and paying late, or maybe they've paid early, once that money clears, that will come out to you with the next EFT payment badge. As mentioned, we do have the four month tenant guarantee. And so if the tenant does default in the first four months, we will place a new tenant at no cost for you. We have in-house evictions. We have one person whose entire job is just evictions and collections. But for those of you that are looking for a more consistent monthly income, Maybe you're in a higher risk area. Maybe you have a higher risk tenant. We do have the eviction cost coverage plan and that covers all the costs associated with a routine eviction and just for a monthly, a low monthly fee. And that fee varies depending on the size of your portfolio, but say you just have one single family home, that's $15 per month. And then finally, we do have a full collection company that we utilize to collect on back balances. So when a tenant vacates, if they owe money, we're gonna send them a demand and they have 10 days to pay. If they don't pay, then we're going to send them to collections and the collection company we utilize is excellent. They're a company that typically only works with very large firms and they generally don't work with property managers. It's very difficult to get consumer collections as a property manager, but because of our volume, we're able to do so. And so we have a full commercial collection company that will go after that tenant, try to reach them. They have excellent success and you only pay based on what they collect. So if they don't collect, there's no fees associated with that. So we appreciate you joining us today. Of course, you can see our website here, omnikeytexas.com, if you want to browse more about what we do and what we offer. And then you've got Cindy's information down here, and she covers North, Northeast, and Northwest Texas. And then Sharon Gebhardt is the one who covers our South and Central Texas markets. But of course, you can reach out to either one of them at any time, and they will be more than happy to help you. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining us today, and we will look forward to seeing you at our next class next week. Thank you, guys.